killer whales are easily recognizable by their distinctive black and white coloration. Their bodies are mostly black, with a white underside extending from their chin to their belly. They also have a white patch located just behind each eye, which is unique to each individual, much like a human fingerprint. The shape of their dorsal fin is another distinguishing characteristic, with males having a taller, more triangular fin that can reach up to six feet in height, while females have a shorter, more curved fin. In terms of size, killer whales are sexually dimorphic, meaning that males and females differ in size. Male killer whales, also known as bulls, can grow up to an impressive 32 feet, 9.8 meters, in length, and weigh as much as 11 tons, 10 metric tons. Females, on the other hand, are slightly smaller, reaching lengths of up to 28 feet, 8.5 meters, and weighing up to 8 tons, 7.5 metric tons. Despite their size, killer whales are incredibly agile and can reach speeds of up to 30 miles, 48 kilometers per hour in short bursts. The lifespan of killer whales in the wild is remarkably long, with females typically living longer than males. Some females have been known to reach 80, 90 years of age, while males generally live up to 50, 60 years. This longevity is attributed to their strong social bonds, a diet rich in nutrients, and the absence of natural predators. Killer whales are renowned for their intelligence, complex social structures, and sophisticated hunting techniques. They live in tight-knit family groups called pods, which are led by the oldest female, known as the matriarch. These pods can consist of a few individuals to over 40 members, and each pod has its own unique dialect of vocalizations used for communication. These dialects are passed down through generations and are thought to reinforce social bonds within the pod. Killer whales are highly vocal animals, using a variety of sounds to communicate and navigate their environment. They produce clicks, whistles, and pulsed calls, each serving a specific purpose. Clicks are used for echolocation, a biological sonar that allows them to locate prey and navigate in dark or murky waters. Whistles are believed to be used for individual identification and maintaining group cohesion, while pulsed calls are associated with social interactions and coordination during hunting. Within these pods, killer whales display strong social bonds and a high level of cooperation. They often work together to hunt and share food, and they have been observed caring for injured or sick pod members. Killer whales also exhibit a variety of playful behaviors, such as breaching, tail slapping, and spy hopping, which is when they raise their heads vertically out of the water to observe their surroundings. As apex predators, killer whales have a diverse diet that varies depending on their geographical location and the specific population. Some populations known as resident killer whales primarily feed on fish such as salmon or herring. Other populations referred to as transient or bigs killer whales specialize in hunting marine mammals including seals, sea lions and even larger whale species such as grey whales or minke whales. There are also offshore populations which have a more generalist diet and are known to prey on fish, squid and sharks. Killer whales employ a variety of hunting techniques depending on their prey and environment. They are known for their coordinated efforts working together as a pod to herd fish into tight balls or to separate seals and sea lions from their haul-out sites. In some regions, killer whales have been observed intentionally beaching themselves to catch seals on shorelines, a behavior known as beach rubbing. They have also been seen using their powerful tails to create waves that wash prey off ice flows in the Arctic. The intelligence and problem-solving abilities of killer whales have been documented in various studies. They have been observed using tools, such as kelp, to dislodge fish from crevices, and they have been known to teach these techniques to younger pod members. This cultural transmission of knowledge is a fascinating aspect of killer whale behaviour, where learned behaviours and techniques are passed down through generations within a pod. Killer whale reproduction is a slow process, with females typically giving birth every three, five years. Mating occurs belly to belly, and the gestation period lasts for approximately 17 months. Calves are born tail first and are usually about 8 feet, 2.4 meters long, at birth. Mothers provide extended care for their young, 
nursing them for up to a year or more and teaching them essential life skills, such as hunting techniques and social behaviours. Despite their name, killer whales are not considered a threat to humans in the wild. In fact, there have been no documented cases of a wild killer whale ever attacking a human. However, the topic of killer whales in captivity has been a subject of controversy and debate. The practice of keeping killer whales in captivity for entertainment purposes has come under scrutiny due to concerns about their physical and psychological well-being. Many organizations and individuals advocate for the end of killer whale captivity and the development of more natural sea pen sanctuaries. In the wild, killer whales face a number of threats, including habitat loss and degradation, pollution, and the depletion of prey populations due to overfishing and other human activities. Some populations, such as the southern resident killer whales found off the coast of Washington State and British Columbia, are listed as endangered due to their small population size and the challenges they face. Conservation efforts are underway to protect killer whales and their habitats, including efforts to reduce pollution, implement fishing regulations, and mitigate the effects of human activities on their populations. Killer whales play a vital role in maintaining balance within their ecosystems as top predators. Their presence helps to regulate the populations of their prey species, which can have cascading effects on the entire food web. The decline or removal of killer whales from an ecosystem can lead to significant imbalances and potentially irreversible changes in the community structure. 